So power is the rate of energy transfer. Sometimes we can also use the equation that says power is equal to the work done divided by the time taken. But power is measured in watts, energy in joules, and we always use time in seconds. So um, what I've got here is the equation. I've got the numbers put in, and don't forget to convert from minutes or hours into seconds. Okay, right. Um, the next one, we've got a battery transferring some energy. Initially, um, this battery transfers um, energy at a rate of 0 0.054 watts, whereas now we've got a different one, which is 0 0.068. So again, all I'm doing is selecting the equation, finding the data from the question and putting it in. Not forgetting, of course, that this therefore means that this has a greater power. We then have a question about the amount of energy used by things which are on standby. So this is a, a Lego photocopier I built, and the energy transferred by the photocopier is equal to 26 kilojoules, okay, if it's left on for nine hours. But actually, what about all these lights which are left on? We've now got four 60 watt bulbs, and the time, if you work it out from 6 p.m. on Friday, we've got six hours on Friday, we've got 24 on Saturday, 24 on Sunday, and then we've got another nine hours on uh, the Monday morning before people come in. We add all of these together to make a value of 63, um, and that's why the total energy transferred is 54 megajoules. Okay, you can give your answer in joules, but sometimes when we're dealing with really large numbers, mega and killer are more appropriate units. And then the next one, we've got some energy. Um, We've got the power given to us in the question, so converting from kilowatts to watts, converted from minutes into seconds to find that's 4.3 megajoules. Um, and then we, we're using this value here again, the raw value that we have here of 4,320,000 in the subsequent calculation to find a value is 2.8 kilowatts. And then finally, we've just got something where it's a two-stage calculation. The first bit, you need to look at the energy gained by the thing that's moved up. So its gravitational potential energy is equal to mgh. So g is 9.8. The height was 18, and it's got a mass of 520 kilograms. So that means we're, that's the amount of energy gained in the gravitational potential store over 20 seconds gives a value of about 4.6 kilowatts. So this one over here, um, often they throw questions about power in, maybe when you've done another question about energy and then it brings in, you know, it's not just how much energy is transferred, but how quickly it's transferred, which is often important.